hi guys welcome back to another youtube video in this video i will be showing you how to get leads to send you 100,000 emails every month for your cold email campaigns my name is saurabh and i am the founder of scoutreach and we help b2b businesses get more qualified leads so we work with businesses like marketing agencies software businesses consulting companies and help them generate highly qualified leads for their services and we handle everything related to finding their leads writing their emails and managing the replies right so when i started doing cold emails i always focused on writing the best script but as i keep on working on more and more campaigns i realize how important the right data source is because i think if you can get the right data or the right data source your 60 70 percent of the job is done so if you can identify a data source which nobody is using you will get much better results than using apollo or any other data service providers because first of all if you are just using a single tool to get all the data of your leads you are just shooting in the dark i think if you cannot identify a data source to identify the right intent triggers for your services then it doesn't really make sense start even sending cold emails I highly recommend to start thinking about data strategically rather than identifying the right tools to get the data of your prospects. I highly recommend you identify some directories or some sources maybe like job listing to first get the right intent triggers right. In this video I will be going over the best data sources to find leads for B2B businesses like technology companies, finance companies, manufacturing companies, re retail companies, that's a one point. That's a single segment. And in second segment, I will be going over how to find the best data for e-commerce companies. And third, we will be going over local businesses, how to find the data for local businesses in US in bulk. So also before starting this video, I also want to share one thought on why I am making this video. So there are thousands of videos on what's the best data source to get leads for your business and there are thousand data sources it doesn't make really any difference i'll teach you how to create the buckets of your prospects from those data sources and from some relevant data sources and then target those companies right because this i think is a much better strategy than you just going after a particular industry particular avatar so as i share more about the tools i will be also sharing about how to think about those tools how to effectively use those tools right so let's start with the first segment which is how to find data of p2b businesses so in this first segment let's talk about how to get the data of p2b businesses which are like technology companies finance companies manufacturing and retail right so first of all, there is no single data source that will give you emails of every prospect in your market, right? You have to use multiple database, but it has to be something like a waterfall method, which I learned from Nick Abraham, but I was also using it previously, but he structured it much better than me. So first of all, to identify all the prospect in your niche, you we will be definitely starting with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So I think LinkedIn Sales Navigator obviously have the best up to date data. So you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to come up with the search to jolt it down to the 2500 leads because in one day you can only get scrape like 2500 leads from LinkedIn Sales Navigator then we will be using multiple tools to get the data of, of those prospects right i will also show you how to scrape the search of linkedin sales navigator and how to do everything right so talking about the tools i use first of all i start with linkedin sales navigator then you can create a search on linkedin sales navigator and you can put that search into ninja leads and it will give you all the email addresses of whoever it can find after that i also like to use apollo to find the leads i use snow i use drop contact i will also use find email so all the platforms that can help me find more and more email addresses of my prospects i will for sure give it a try right so let's jump over to my screen i'll show you how linkedin sales navigator works i'll share some tips and tricks on getting much better data from linkedin then i'll show you how to take that linkedin sales navigator search and get most emails from that so let's start with that so this is how sales navigator looks like i know linkedin can be expensive but it's a worthy investment i think i know you have a tight budget when you are just starting out 
but you can obviously take the advantage of a free trial they provide and in that month you can scrape like 40 50 000 leads which you can run out for like a whole year right and after that obviously you will be in a better position to invest in linkedin sales navigator and stuff so these are all the filters linkedin provides you with so i really always look out for people who just posted on linkedin because i know they are active on linkedin and they will have an active email address as well so i start with that again depending on your services and solution you have to filter out all those leads for your businesses which departments you target which roles you work with right and what is the headcount of those companies everything where they where are those companies located right so i'll use all this filter on the linkedin search and i'll get back to you with a more targeted search so now i have filtered this search down to 2500 leads because you should only be scraping like 2500 leads every day from linkedin sales navigator so if you have filtered down the search i'll use snow to get all the emails of these prospects so snow have detected all these prospects and if i go to advance i can add it like 100 pages to it and click save and it will start giving me the email addresses of these prospects and i can download that whole list from the snow right so i have used multiple filters on this search which is like i will target companies who have 50 to 200 employees who are based in united states i'm only targeting owners and founder of these companies in this campaign and i will be going after companies in advertising space right so as you already know i work with mostly marketing agencies to get them high quality sales calls so this is the right relevant target market for me right? so if i can get the data of all these people since they are active on linkedin like i have used this filter there is a higher chance i will get a reply also i'll be using some personalization as well which might be from their website urls something about their case study so i don't really like to just do bulk campaigns where we just get the data and start sending the emails also make sure we are sending something relevant in the emails like why we think we are the right fit to work with them right so after i filter down the search in linkedin sales navigator i will either use snow or i just made a free trial account on ninja leads which i think is one of the best tools to find emails from a linkedin sales navigator search so what you have to do is you have to sign up to this app you have to purchase a subscription which lets you find the emails of 5000 leads without even using your account so if you can just purchase a linkedin sales navigator account and use ninja leads to get emails you can do 5000 emails every day you can get like 5000 leads every day right so if you just don't use snow and anything that's fine ninja leads will give you more leads without ever using the cookie of your account so it doesn't even hinder your account as well right so in this app you have to select the linkedin sales navigator search and you have to give your list a name which is advertising let's say then i'll copy this url and paste it here and i'll just launch this campaign and it will start running and after some time it will give me the leads here which will be uh, i guess around 1000 and 1500 leads also if you want to get more from this search you can simultaneously use snob and remove the any duplicates you might get from both the platforms right also after you have run both of this search if you, you are still not able to find email addresses of 500 to 700 prospect you can use find email which will help you get the email addresses of these prospects you can use apollo you can use drop contact and you will be getting more and more emails as you keep on using multiple platforms so it's not just like you should decide a best platform or tool to get leads for your services and just blindly start using it without even also verifying the emails and also not using a different platform simultaneously right you are just leaving the money on the table because you are not reaching out to the relevant prospects and as you find more and more prospects from multiple data sources you are also reaching out to the prospects which your competitors didn't reach out to so you see how 
beneficial it is right you are reaching out to more leads you will be having a much higher close rate because those prospects are not talking to a lot of companies because nobody is reaching out to them so if you can reach out to them you will be in a much better position so summing this up like how to get the most email from linkedin sales navigator you should use ninja leads you should use nov you can also use apollo you can also upload a list to apollo of linkedin urls and it will match the emails to those urls and you can find it that way similar in find email it will give you extension which runs through all these e profiles and help you find the email addresses of these prospects right so now let's talk about apollo which is also one of my favorite tools to get emails because of its ease of use and its enrichment feature so let's say you have a list of 10000 company urls which are in your target market which you either got from clutch or any relevant directory for your services right now linkedin can't do anything about it because you cannot really upload anything there to get the email addresses so what i really like to do is i'll just use apollo i'll come to their people search i'll go to companies tab and include the list of website urls of which i want to find the decision makers of also i like apollo because it helps me utilize the directories much better right so if you don't already know i talk a lot about getting the data from directories because i think it helps a lot in creating familiarity and it makes you different as well that's really the goal right so most of these directories might not have the name of the decision maker in there but they may have the company url which is affiliated to them or which is a member of that directory right so what would you do in that scenario right you will have to manually go to these websites and find their decision makers but it wastes a lot of time right so to avoid that issue what i really like to do is just use apollo wherever i can it's pretty cheap as well for 100 dollars i get like 10000 leads again not all of those are verified you have to use million verifiers scrubby or never bounce to verify your leads make sure you do that from 10000 you may be finding 4000 leads but again for the remaining 6000 leads don't ever leave them out make sure you are using snow to find more leads from them then you use find email to find more leads from the remaining leads then you use drop contact to find more leads from the remaining leads right so that's how you have to segment your email finding you you will not just find a singular data source which will solve all your issues either if it is zoom info seamless all of these won't give you email address of every prospect they all have discrepancies right so you have to use it with a bit of salt right you have to use multiple platforms i know there are great platforms like zoom info seamless but i don't really like to use it because they are pretty expensive a plead as well is pretty expensive so that's why i stick to using linkedin sales navigator with some extensions or tools then i'll use apollo to find most of my data related to obviously b2b businesses also apollo helps me in finding the data better of e-commerce businesses local businesses i will be sharing with you going ahead how apollo helps in that because with most e-commerce businesses we can only find the urls from most of this database that's why apollo is such a time saver and such a great tool for finding the right data now moving on from linkedin sales navigator and apollo i want to share some directories which, which will change how you see the data right right now you are seeing like you have to find a data source and you get all the data from there but i want you to think differently now right now you will be finding a bucket of your data right so let's say there is a website which is clutch.co there are a lot of let's say more than 260,000 vetted businesses worldwide and you can find a particular segment on this website of your target market right so let's say i work with tiktok ad agencies to get them more clients now i will find all the top tiktok ad agencies of 2023 on clutch.co which is a great directory and you can see there are 2500 plus companies and now i'll just quickly scrap all this listing through instant data scrapper which will give me the list of all the urls of these companies 
and then I can take those URLs and put it into Apollo and find the right decision maker of those companies and use clutch as a personalization point in the emails as well. And I'll say, hey, I found your company on clutch when I was looking for top advertising agencies, right? So you see how it makes your job a lot easier because you don't have to do any personalization. You just have to scrape this data again. You can use multiple data sources to find the decision maker of these companies based on the URLs. After using Apollo, you'll get a list of prospects. So let's say you for, from this 2500 links, you find 4000 leads, right? But again, you will get 2000 verified emails from Apollo. Then for the rest of 2000, you will be using Snow. You use find email, you use drop contact. That's how you increase your number of emails you are getting for your campaign, right? So that's how you use industries. Again, there will be multiple industry relevant directories for your services. Just try to find that. Keep doing on market research and you will definitely find it. I can make sure there is one directory which you can target. I like to target software suggest as well. And again, I'll do similar thing. I will find a particular group of softwares. Let's say CRM softwares. Get a list of those website URLs, use Apollo to get the decision makers and Snow and other tools to get the most data as much as I can, right? So that's all for this segment of the video where I talked about how to get the most data for B2B businesses. Now let's move on and I'll show you how to find the data of the e-commerce businesses. So now let's explore more about the best data sources for e-commerce companies. So the thing about these data sources is like for most of these industries, it's more about finding the right set of URLs, right? It's not like you will get a best data source to find email addresses of these e-commerce business owners. I just want you to find segmented list of these niches of e-commerce brands from multiple websites. There are multiple websites. There are some free websites you can use. There are some paid websites you can use. And I recommend you use paid website because it will help you better segment your list. It will give you more filters. You can keep your targeting much, much better this way, right? So let's jump over my screen and I will walk you through multiple platforms you can use to get a list of qualified URLs of e-commerce companies. And then I'll show you how to use that list of URLs to get the email addresses of the decision makers. So I'm sure you're familiar with like most e-commerce stores are built on multiple technologies like Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, BigCommerce and some platforms or technologies like this, right? So with finding the right leads for e-commerce brands, the trick is to find the companies who are using these technologies, right? So from my experience, I know a lot of e-commerce agencies or the freelancers just straight away start targeting companies who use Shopify. And I think there is a lot of competition there, right? So if you want to get better results, you just have to target different companies, right? Try WooCommerce, try companies who are using BigCommerce, Magento, Wix. So these are also great platforms and you will be surprised to see how many of these big brands are using these technologies rather than Shopify, right? So the websites like built with will help you find a list of the URLs of companies who are using a particular technology, right? So let's say if I write Shopify in it, it will give me a list of all the companies who use Shopify. So let me show you how it works. So if I just type Shopify in the search bar, it will show me which different directories it can show me, right? So let's say I start with Shopify websites in United States of America, right? So there are more than 2.6 million Shopify customers in United States. And these are all your relevant targets. I'm sure it totally depends on which type of brands or what level of brand you, you are looking to target. Again, then you have to use a paid software that will help you do much better targeting than this. I'll come to that later on. But for this, if you need a list of URLs, built with is a go to platform for this. Just for free, you can get only these URLs. But if you need full list, you will have to like pay them two to three hundred dollars a month. So that's how it works. So now if I type WooCommerce. So now if I look for WooCommerce websites in US, you can see there are also 2.6 million WooCommerce customers in US that's a huge database as well right 
again let's try to find the companies who are using less popular technology Let, let's say big commerce so you see there are also 33000 plus big commerce customers in us and they are also spending like more than $5000 a month on their technology so you know they have a good enough revenue to invest this much in the technology so there are qualified brands as well for you right so if you again you need the list you have to pay built with to get this list or you can hire someone on fiverr to get you the list of these urls right so this is how you get the urls now i'll show you two three more ways to get these relevant urls then i'll show you how to use these urls to get the decision makers of these brands right so if you don't have budget to pay for built with right now what you can do is use myip.ms and a lot of companies use this to get the data of their target audience right so it will do something similar to what built it does so it will give you data based on the ip address or hosting company of those websites right so with this you can again target shopify customers and other platforms as well so let me show you how it works as well so if you select just hosting companies and select us or whichever country you want to target and look out for the right hosting companies which your customers might be using then you will be able to find the list of right websites you are looking for so here i find big commerce and they have like 25000 sites on their platform so i'll select the big commerce from here and i will look out for these 25000 companies from here and here is the record of 25000 companies now what you have to do is just quickly download this in excel and csv and there you have it now also i will obviously show you the better way to use it but but now you have the main raw data now you can use this data to get the email addresses of the right decision makers in these brands so now let me show you one two more platforms you can use to get these relevant website urls with much better filtering now i know on my ip.ms or on built with you can't segment your list based on the type of brand it is if you can also segment your list or targeting based on the type of brand you are going to target you will have much better results let's say you start with table board companies or gaming companies and these websites don't provide you with that filter to use but there are some platforms that lets you do it and store leads is one of them so let me show you how it looks like so if you have budget to invest money to find the right data for targeting the e-commerce brands i think store leads is a no-brainer it has a list of like 11 million active stores from all over the world and it has also segmented those websites based on the platforms they use so you see there are more than 210 plus e-commerce platforms these businesses use so shopify is just one of them WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Magento, Wix, there are hundreds of these. So you see how you can much better target and just work in a territory which no one is going after. So when you are starting out, your goal is to be different and just start targeting people who are not getting pitched and they require obviously your services. That's how you get much faster results, right? So store leads give you more than 30 attributes for each website. So you can filter your list based on for firmographic, social media accounts and their contact info, technographics they are using and more filters such as category they are in, their current active status, right? So if you have money, this is how the pricing looks like. I think $250 a month is the right plan to use. You can get the data off two e-commerce platform which would be like shopify or woocommerce because they have the largest users in the united states and you can do unlimited searches on this plan so it's 250 dollars a month if you can invest for 50 dollars a month it's well worth it if you are targeting let's say 20 30 thousand e-commerce brands in a month it's a no-brainer it's very cheap and you can again do a group buy with 10 users and it will be like 45 dollars to you right so again with store leads our goal is to get the right list of urls and then you go ahead and find the decision makers and now i will show you how to do that and obviously using store leads is very simple just play around with the fil advanced filters and come up with the list of two to five thousand website urls so you can go ahead and use them to 
find the data of your target audience so now let me show you how to find the data of the list we downloaded from my ip.ms right i will go to apollo and go to the companies tab and again paste all these urls here and it will match the companies to its database so you look there are 45 companies so these are all repetitive right so even if you use store leads built with any platform you use your goal is to get a list of urls so after getting that relevant list of urls what you have to do is you have to use apollo and use the people's tab or company's tab and paste that list into the list of companies you want to find the data for and apollo will match the data to its database and if you click on the people's tab it will show you all the decision maker in those companies right so now you can use filters in apollo right so you can use the employee account like if you want to just target companies who have less than 200 employees right and again you have already got this list of urls from us so it's not really beneficial to apply that filter but if you still want to do it you can still do it us and use all these filters to get this relevant data in apollo and then scrap that list so that's how you find the data of e-commerce brands based on even the category you are targeting let's say you are targeting pet care brand you can use that filter in store leads and get a list of urls and again use these two softwares to get email addresses of those decision maker in those brands and target them also you can use some directories let me show you one or two directories as well so you can think more strategically about the data remember i also told you like the goal is to think more strategically about the data not just to get bulk of data we want to get relevant data so this is a ethical brand directory and you can again go ahead and scrape all these urls and find those decision makers or either using apollo or snob and use this as a personalization point as well say hey i found you in ethel brand directory and, and it will automatically help you stand out so that's how i want you to find different data sources either find women on brands or just try to find an attribution point which you can use to find a list of urls that qualifies a particular parameter and target them and use those parameters as a personalization point right so if you click on this brand you will most probably find the website url which is this now you can take this website url use polo or snob to find the data of the decision maker in the this company right so that's how i use these multiple platforms to find the relevant data of e-commerce brands and it obviously helps me in targeting my prospects so now in this segment i'll be showing you how to find unlimited data of local businesses so there are really two ways to again find the data of local businesses one either you use a software to scrap the google maps second you use a directory where most of these local businesses list themselves right so one of the most simplest way to find the data of local businesses is use google maps because it will have the most up to date data of those businesses so in this part i will be showing you some google map scrapers and how to use them again the goal of this google map scrapper or directories is just to give us a list of qualified urls of these businesses and then we will use mostly the same method which we used in the previous segment to find the data through apollo or snoff and that's basically how you build a list of local businesses so let's jump over to my screen so there are basically two good google map scraper in the market one is outscraper and other is the seven lead finder i like outscraper because it has app sumo lifetime deal and again d7 lead finder haven't given me such good results that i have seen with outscraper right so that's why i like to stick with outscraper right so this is how outscraper looks like you can scrap google maps their reviews you can scrap emails you can scrap amazon reviews amazon products and everything obviously but the main goal here is to scrap the google maps direct so let's log into outscraper and show you how it works so when we log into outscraper we have to go to google maps data scraper and this is how the platform looks like so you have to use the right metrics to get a list of urls you want to target right so let's say i want to target dentist in los angeles right type category which would be dentist 
again i have to select the location make sure you are selecting the relevant location which is us for me then again i'll find la so i want to find these businesses in los angeles i only want let's say thousand results from this search so you can select how many urls you want and it will follow that delete the duplicates now you can also tell it to find the emails or the contacts of these companies so we will do that as well now after adding the emails and contacts scraper you can use some advanced parameters as well you can you can select only to give you relevant results so you can select a particular type of dentist as well and it will only scrap those list again i like to download data in the csv so i'll click get data it will tell you how much time it takes and what it would cost you right now let's confirm this and it will start running this task in the backend and you can find all the tasks running here right and it will be done right now we will wait until this search is done and i'll show you how to find the decision maker of these businesses from the list of urls out scraper will give us until then let me show you how to use yellow pages yelp to find the relevant list of urls as well so this is how yellow pages home page looks like so let's try to find dentist from la this as well so now i have put in the right parameters and it will show me how many listings are available on yellow pages for dentist in los angeles so if i go down below i'll see there are more than 3000 listings so to use yellow pages it's pretty simple it gives you the website of these businesses for sure it won't be available for every business out there so what you have to just simply do is click on instant data scraper and start crawling this list and it will give you a list of like all these 3000 lists so i will let this run i'll show you how the instant data scraper file looks like after uh, running all the listings from yellow page so i'm stopping this yellow pages search right here now if you want to get all this listing you can keep running your search i usually run it through all the searches so right now i just want to show you how to use it right so you put in the right parameters for your search you can even put it statewide right but if you have a lot of listing of the certain business type go based on the city you are targeting in particular state right so i'll download this list from here and i'll show you how it looks like so this is how the list from yellow pages looks like it will mostly give us the website urls as well which is you can find from here so this has a list so from 420 listings we got like 192 website urls again you are not spending anything on this so if you are tied on the budget don't use our scraper just use yellow pages and scrap this city by city and you will probably have a list of relevant businesses of around three to four thousand from a single state now uh, after you get this you copy this whole column you again move to apollo so that's why i mostly love apollo like you can find data of most of the businesses either it's linkedin it's from it's for e-commerce brand it's for local businesses again you have to do similar steps you go to search click on companies and you paste that list into here and it will try to match it so it shows like there are 220 of these businesses but i know all of these are not relevant again i am going to use the relevant filters like employee count which would be like let's say 1 to 100 then we want to filter them based on the location which will be los angeles i'm just showing you how to do it it's it's not like i'm finding a lot of this data you doing this but i'm just doing this at a certain scale just to show you how to do it again you click on the people's column and it will give you all the relevant prospect in your target market and you can again save all this leads and start sending out emails to right so this is basically how you use any directory for local businesses just get a relevant list of urls either you want to use yelp either you want to use dnb either you want to use triple b so these are all that they give you a list of urls they won't give you direct de decision makers right right now there is no such platforms that give you the right filters to use for local businesses so you have to 
use directories to get a list of URLs and then use either Snow or Apollo to get the list of right emails and decision makers. So Yelp is another directory I like to use. So Yelp is good to find restaurants, dentists and everyone and Yellow Pages is good for finding local businesses which are related to doing home services or you know productized services. Right. So let's say let's try to so now let's try to find dentist here as well. So now Yelp has gone ahead and give me a list of dentist in Los Angeles and you will see there are about three to four hundred here like there are 24 pages with 10 to 15 listings. So again you can use ye instant data scrapers to scrap this list. So it shows there are 29. Just locate it to the next right button and it will start scraping the li right listings for you, right? So if I just start crawling this result, I'll start getting a list of URLs from Yelp, right? And then you can use those lists to put in either Apollo or Snow. Again and again, I'm telling you all these are just ways to get a list of URLs, list of relevant URLs nothing more than that you won't ever find a directory mostly you won't find a directory that gives you data of direct decision makers you have to either manually do it or if you want to do it on scale use apollo or snow or other data finder which can process data based on the urls so this is how the csv file from yelp looks like but I see there are not a lot of relevant website URLs I can find from this search. So that's why I like to stick with either Outscraper or Yellow Pages. Although on Yelp you can go to the listings and you might find the like website inside the list. So Yelp doesn't really give you the website URL on the search page. So you have to do extra effort. There is also a way to automate this as well but it takes a lot of time but instead of this I will suggest you stick to yellow pages right or whichever platforms give you direct access of URLs. So with Yelp it, it I'm sure you can find the name of the decision makers as well like it's Dr. Rogelia Garcia. So Yelp is good to find the data but again you have to use Snow to manually find the email addresses by putting in the first name last name and the website url so now our outscraper search has also been done it has been able to just find 219 dentists in los angeles let's see if how many urls we are getting through it so the data we get through outscraper is much better formatted like you see the query they put out and you see the cleaned name of the dentist you see the website they have subtypes you are getting like which keywords they want to rank for which is another great way to personalize your outreach as well you can see the phone numbers they have on their list so it will give you every data available in that particular google map listing so from this 219 we can find 152 website urls so again i'll copy all these website urls go to apollo do a similar search like we did for e-commerce or just i showed you for yellow pages as well i'll include all the these list of companies i'll make sure we are targeting a relevant type of companies as well again we can find 154 relevant contacts in la if you are not doing mass campaigns this is a good amount of prospects for you but again we are sending like thousands of email so that's why I want to do it on the state level where I can find like three to four thousand URLs in one go again it gives me like 1500 to 2000 decision makers in one search and from that we might find like 1400 to 1500 relevant verified contacts because we don't want to be reaching out to bounced contacts right so that's basically how you find the data of decision makers of local businesses through apollo so there you have it these are the best data sources to find any relevant email address or the data of decision makers of a particular businesses you want to find these methods will help you find data of b2b businesses e-commerce businesses local businesses or whichever business you'd like to find it for so these are mostly the data sources i personally use every day to 
build out a list of let's say 20 to 30 thousand leads every month so go ahead and start building out the list of your relevant prospects in your target audience and remember it's not just about getting a lot of data it's more about getting that data strategically so you can leverage it to better your emails better your outreach more understand your audience better your messaging right so keep these points in mind and it will for sure help you increase your cold email results or outreach results right so let me know if you have any particular questions about this business i would be happy to answer them and i will see you in the next one cheers and don't forget to share like and subscribe to this video